Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, precious brothers and sisters. There is a song in my heart today. I feel like jumping up and shouting and singing praise. I feel like making a joyful noise to the Lord today. It's beautiful today. It is a gorgeous day today, Thursday, August 29th, 2013. This is the day that Yahweh has made. Amen. Rejoice and be glad in it. Do something positive today in your life. Do something positive today for the kingdom. Go out and touch someone's life today in a positive way. I am just overcome. I'm overwhelmed with joy today. I feel like jumping up. I feel like running and running around the block a dozen times. I am so, so filled with joy and love today and i love each and every one of you gather around i'm not going to make a long video i promise i have some praise reports and at the end of the video i have a very special request and announcement so gather around it's okay if you want to look in the fridge i love you take your time grab your coffee all right now i am still just reeling and I am still filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Last night, what a special evening at our live service at Tiny Chat. The Holy Spirit could be felt throughout that entire service, throughout that entire chat room. We had a number of people come to salvation last night. And I want you to know, and I want you to understand, I want you to believe this. But there is a celebration in heaven, the angels are singing and dancing before the throne of the living God. What a wonderful, wonderful evening we had last night. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I am telling you. Now, I have another. I have a praise report. As you know, I have been suffering with sciatica for about a week now where I have what is called a bulging disc, L4 and L5, in my lower back. And what it does, the disc will press on the sciatic nerve, and it just sends an excruciating, uh, disabling pain down the left side of my leg. And all of you have been praying for me. And now uh, Justin has called me, and he has prayed with me and for me over the phone. And precious, precious Brian another viewer has called me about three times and prayed with me and I have claimed this healing now here's my praise report I got up this morning and I felt pretty good but I was kind of cautious I was taking it kind of careful I got up for the first time went over to make my coffee for this morning I felt a little bit of something going on in my back so I grabbed an ice pack and I, I iced my back but I am literally pain-free this morning. The sciatica, no sciatica, no pain down my leg, no low back pain. I am just so grateful. I am just so in love. You have, I, I don't think my viewers really understand how much I love Jesus, how much I long to be with him. I'm, I'm like you. I want to go home. I'm a tired old watchman. And... I think when the rapture takes place, watch out because I'm going to probably shove you out of the way. I'm going to be first to fall and worship at his feet and just put my arms around him and hug him. And hold on to him and hug him at the ankles and let him know how much I truly, truly love him so much. It's an overwhelming love that is just totally unexplainable. I am a watchman. I come on here and my only purpose for being on here is to do my father's will he has called me to this ministry to preach his word and to preach the truth and i just want you to understand i you you cannot comprehend how much i love jesus how much i love yeshua it's it, it, there there are no words to explain all right gather around i love you too very much we're going to have our coffee, and you know, I don't care if you want to look in the fridge. Whenever you're ready, have your coffee with me. 
what's coming up on my channel today. I put out a couple of videos yesterday regarding the FEMA camp roundup where they are arresting homeless people um, who have committed no crime, um, no due process, and they are placing them in these facilities with a chain and a locked uh, fence and armed guards while well, it's happening now. And in, in Raleigh, North Carolina, this is South Carolina, in Raleigh, North Carolina, they are arresting anyone that are trying to help the homeless people, church groups, church uh, elders, women of the church that are trying to feed the homeless. If you feed them, they're going to put you in jail and arrest you. But it's happened now. It's spreading. It's happening in other states around the United States where they are arresting the homeless people without cause. And they are putting them in. It, it is a prison. I'm sorry. It's a FEMA camp where they cannot leave with armed guards. It's happening now in Florida. I'm going to come back. We're going to touch on that. Coming up is Comet Ison, the sign of the rapture. Is Jesus coming with the whole, with a whole a uh, bunch of spaceships. We're going to cover that coming up. All right, here is my announcement, special announcement I want to make, and a request of you, the viewer, and all of my followers. You are my congregation. Announcement. I don't believe I'll have time to do our Sabbath service Saturday morning, and I made the announcement in a tiny chat last night and Brother Doug will cover our Saturday service for me. I need your help with this. We will be, it's a yearly annual event. We will be in Hamtramck, Michigan, a multicultural area this weekend. We're setting up our tents Friday, uh, Friday evening. We will be there Saturday, Sunday, and Monday preaching the gospel, the true gospel of Jesus Christ, and putting out a call to salvation and having just a wonderful time preaching the true gospel of Jesus Christ to so many. Now, it's a multicultural area. People from uh, Polish backgrounds, Middle Eastern, um, Arabic, uh, Indian, various religions, Catholic, we're going to talk about that in a moment, Catholic, um, those that believe in Hinduism, Buddhism, Muslims, and we will be out there in force this weekend, and I know it's the end of the month, and I ask if you can support this ministry with any, even a small gift to help out. I know it's the end of the month and our ministry is in dire need and we need to be out there this weekend uh, spreading the word and any amount that you can give. And it's going to be, if not, I'm going to pull from my own pockets, but as you know, I'm on unemployment now. I, I left my job. Uh, I actually was let go uh, and I've been getting unemployment for a wrongful discharge because I refused. I stood my ground and I refused. They wanted me to work on Saturday, on the Sabbath, and they wanted me to uh, be there as security, like a bouncer, crowd control, at a drinking establishment, uh, at a bar. And I could not do that, and they fired me. But I've been getting unemployment. But I really, I don't have enough to pull from my own pocket. So if you can help this ministry uh, with eight, a dollar, any gift that you can give so we can get out there this weekend. And I will be coming live from Hamtramck, Michigan all weekend. I love you all so much. And the Catholic, uh, they have a Sunday morning mass. And I don't know if I should talk about this or not, but I don't think the, I don't think the Catholic priests like Pastor Dave a whole lot. But we're going to be out there, oh my, such a multicultural area, people of Polish descent, a lot of ethnic food, Middle Eastern descent, Hindu, Indian, Muslim, Buddhist, we're going to be there because there is only one God and he is Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, trumpetofgodministries.com if you can help this weekend. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss today.
God bless.